If you train jujitsu and you have long hair, you know the struggle. You've probably had hair ripped out in fistfuls. You definitely have suffered a lot of breakage. Um, you've probably been not able to escape from something because your hair got caught under your back. Um, so I'm here to show you a couple of protective hairstyles that you can use uh, when you train jujitsu. These are not gonna be super complicated, but this is what I use. I've been training for five and a half years. My name is Maya, welcome to my channel. I talk about Brazilian jujitsu, my business, Alchemized Fightwear, which is a women's MMA gear and apparel business specifically Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and, and no gi gear more than anything else. This is one of our, our rash guards that we, we, we recently started selling. So go check us out, links are below. Um, and creating a life that you, you love. So um, if you are interested in that kind of information, stay tuned and we'll jump into the hairstyles. So as you can see, I have pretty long hair. I mean, it goes down basically to my waist. Um, I can show you in the back how, how long it is as well. So I, I struggle a lot with getting my hair stepped on, getting my hair just yanked on, people like going to choke and they like shove their hand in your hair and rip it out. You kind of have to accept that that's gonna happen and that's part of the sport. I still have hair damage, I still have breakage. There's some treatment things that you can do to kind of mitigate some of those things. But the first thing is get yourself some of these hair ties, these like, silicone curly hair ties. I used everything. I used like those normal, just elastic hair ties. I used scrunchies. I used like silk cloth hair ties. This is what I found works better than anything else. I have less pain with my hair. My hair stays much better as long as I use both of these. I think I have less hair breakage because of it because it lets the hair move more. So get yourself a pack of these hair like scrunchies. And these are even better anyway because it's not cloth, it's not, I mean, I don't know how many of you just like wash your scrunchies or, or your hair ties. I don't, I wash them in the shower because I keep them on my wrist all the time. But these are silicone. They are not gonna collect bacteria the same way that your other scrunchies collect bacteria. So this is the best option for jujitsu. So the way that I style my hair most of the time, because I'm kind of lazy, is I just put my hair up in a ponytail. Um, and I secure the bottom, the top of the ponytail with a hair tie. So maybe I'll speed this up for you guys. Put it like pretty high on my head. Um, not super high, but you can see how it is. And then I use this other one and I twist this hair and then twist it into kind of like a ballerina bun around my hair. Um, this sticks pretty well like when I'm rolling, but if we're like jogging or something, it's a lot of weight on the back of my head, so it will start to fall down. But that's how I do my hair most days. Um, it's just a really easy way for me to put it up. If it falls down when I'm rolling or when I'm training, I can put it up really quickly again. Um, so this is one of my preferred hairstyles. This is really simple, um, but it does fall down sometimes. I think it falls down much less when you use both of these um, elastic hair ties. The second one that I would recommend is braiding this um, ponytail. So I think this is one of the most protective things that you could do for your hair. All the way down in the ponytail, it's nice because it's secured up here. When I do French braids, it just, I've tried it, it doesn't work for me because it's not secured at the top anywhere. Um, so it just gets yanked down and then I have all this work to do to braid my hair. Um, so this is something that I'll do at the beginning of class. Sometimes it, if it ends up getting taken down, it doesn't end up back in a braid, it just ends up in a bun or something like that. Um, but honestly, with this hairstyle, my hair is a little too long for it, so I end up, I, I only usually carry two hair ties. I could do something with three, and I'll probably show you that as well, but I honestly end up with this stuck underneath my back all the time, like if I'm in side control or if I'm like even playing guard, right? I get it stuck underneath my back and then I can't move. And so, I don't love this hairstyle. When my hair was a little bit shorter, I would use this a lot. And so I think if you have like shoulder length hair or hair that just like comes like to the top of your, your breast or something, um, or the top of your chest if you're a guy with long hair, I think it might be a good option for you. But for me, 
I just get stuck a lot with this. And same with a ponytail. I don't wear ponytails very often anymore because I just get stuck often and it's not comfortable. Plus I think a ponytail, you have so much hair that's going like free and you end up getting a lot of damage and, and tearing and people with their hands in your hair and all of that. The third hairstyle that I would recommend is coming from this braid to twist this braid into a bun. And I think this is the best thing that you could do because the bun will be so secure, the braid is secure, so you're not having a bunch of hair everywhere. It's just three steps. And for me, when I'm running from roll to roll or even just drilling with someone, I don't want to take those steps all the time. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like in the back. But this is definitely the most protective hairstyle that's simple. Um, I know that there's a lot of other hairstyles and you could probably find some videos on YouTube of girls doing like Dutch braids or French braids all the way down. Um, I find that like doing pigtail kind of like where you have braids on two sides is too annoying for me. I just wanna deal with one thing because if it's on both sides, like one gets messed up and you have to do that one and it will get messed up in jujitsu, it's just, a matter of fact. Um, so I, I just find that dealing with one thing is something that's a little bit easier for me. I know some people who braid like the whole top of their hair and then and then like maybe braid it all the way down or they braid the whole top of their hair and then put it into a bun. I think that's a good option too. I just think it's a little bit too much work for me. So if you're like a lazy person like me and you don't wanna spend 20 minutes on your hair while you're at jujitsu. I mean, I can't braid really fast, so maybe that's part of the problem, but um, if you're like me, you don't wanna spend 20 minutes on your hair while you're training, um, these are a couple hairstyles that should work for you. I know also there's this girl, she owns, uh, Alexander is her name, she owns Grapple Happy and they sell these, honestly, like swim caps for jujitsu for long hair. That would protect your hair, they just look really goofy and um, I wish I was not so vain or I would wear one because I think that they, they really do protect your hair. Anyway, I know it's a short video. I hope that was helpful. Good luck on your jujitsu journey. I hope that you don't damage your hair too much um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.